Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a everyday makeup routine. What I've been doing every day and what I've been wearing pretty much every day. Make sure you guys subscribe before we get started. Follow me on all my social medias as well. So I'm doing this in my living room. My living room? My bedroom. I always do my makeup in my bathroom, but I was like, might as well do something different, you know? So I usually start out with washing my face and all of that, which I've already done. So now I'm gonna use this. This is what I start with always, um, the Bounce Skin Tint. I recently started using this and I love it. It's from Beauty Blender. It says to shake it before, so I always, I just do like a couple drops on each side of my face and on my forehead. I don't think I've ever done my makeup in here, so it's gonna be interesting to see, you know, how it turns out. And then I use my Black Beauty Blender just to blend this all over the skin for color. I have the color Light One. I think it's the lightest shade they have. I like picking the lightest shade because I know it's gonna be fine on my skin. Like I have very fair, I have a very fair face. So I like using the fair shade they have. It makes it just a little bit easier. Personally, I like it. It's just a really nice sheer layer of this skin tint. Um, it just kind of helps clear the face, make it all one color. And then I kind of just look and add more if I need it. Might add just a tiny bit more on this one cheek. But yeah, it just adds like a little layer of color. If that makes sense. And I always blend it down to my neck. So what I found is it's actually super beautiful layered. I've been layering it with this L'Oreal Pro Glow Fallible Pro Glow Foundation in the color Natural Beige. I mostly do this whenever I am a little tan which right now I kind of am tan so this helps kind of match my neck if that makes sense and I just do a little bit that was a lot on my cheek um, I just do a little bit all over the face and this is going to help with layering and giving a little more coverage and also matching my neck but it just takes me a while like I have to sit here and blend this or else it's gonna look patchy and I bring it down my neck because that kind of helps with blending that white line that I have but look it kind of matches the neck a little bit better it just blends so beautifully on top okay i need something to pull my hair back because my hair is getting orange look at okay sorry this looks horrible right now my hair pulled back but it's gonna help i'm done with that now i'm going to use the the shape tape concealer under my eyes i just do it right under here and a tiny bit on my chin as well it has these little pads because the seal broke and so it literally makes a mess all over my my uh, other makeup which is so annoying so that's why there's that on there and i use the tip of my beauty blender now instead so i used to bring my concealer all the way up but i found that it actually widens my face and i already kind of have like a bigger face like a bigger head so i don't want to bring it all the way out or it's gonna make my face look white. I'm just focusing right under the eye and stopping about right here where my eyebrow is. Honestly, this makeup takes me maybe 15 minutes. Okay, the last cream product I'm gonna go in with is this. It has makeup all over it because of that concealer. Um, this is the blush stick in the color Mini Me from ColourPop. I want the Rare Beauty blush, but I seriously cannot find it anywhere. It's like sold out everywhere. I want the, I want Happy. So if I wasn't using this, I'd probably be using that. I've never tried it though, so I might not like it. I think this one's really pretty. It's just a little thick. So if you want more of like a watery cream blush, this one's more of a thicker kind of consistency if you like that. I mean, it's in a stick, so you can imagine what it's, what it's like. I always use my fingers with this. I feel like I have a lot more control over where my blush goes. I bring it up to my temple sometimes, and I definitely bring it like all over my cheek, like this whole area. And I put it on my nose as well because it's cute. Now I'm gonna powder down everything using this little brush. I like to use it right under the eyes, and I pat it, don't rub it, because that just moves the product. This is a translucent powder from It Cosmetics and it's pressed. I've just been using this for a while. I don't know if there's anything better out there. There probably is, but I found that it helps keep my makeup in place. I have no complaints over it. Like under the eyes, on the forehead, chin, and then on my smile lines. And then I go in with a big powder brush and I powder the entire face. Next step is bronzer. I have not found a cream bronzer that I love. I wanted to try the Rare Beauty one again. I've heard a lot of like really great things about it. I just can't find it. I'm going to use this Hoola bronzer. Uh, Hoola is always been my favorite bronzer. I always go back to it. I just feel like it's such a beautiful color. It's just the original Hoola bronzer. I love it. Okay, I'm gonna use blush. This one is Organism from NARS. It's like their little mini size because it was only 15 bucks for this mini size. And then with this, I go on the chin, on the forehead, so that everything looks 
seamless and I'm not like do do do. Next step is highlighter. It's soft and gentle by MAC. I find this to be super soft and just light and it gives this like kind of glisten that I really really love. I do this all over the nose. I mean not all over but like on the bridge of the nose. See it just gives like this really pretty glimmer but it's not overwhelming. Like it doesn't look glittery and crazy like that. I hit the chin and then recently I've been doing the cheek I used to not do the cheek anymore because I feel like it was too much, but I really love this one and I feel like it doesn't make you look fake. It just kind of gives this glisten. Like, look at that. It's so pretty. We're almost done. The main point of my makeup is definitely the face. Like, I love face makeup. Okay, so eyebrows are something that I find really funny, honestly, because I used to take forever on my eyebrows and I used to make them look snatched and perfect. I would overdraw them and make them like big and I just wanted fluffy big eyebrows that were like perfect but recently I don't really care I don't feel like eyebrows have to be perfect like I feel like it's prettier and natural when it's not perfect if that makes sense so what I literally do is I fill in the tiny bit on the front barely touch it like just give it the tiniest bit of color and then I do the other side like that just because like my eyebrows are so light that you kind of lose the front of them and then i brush it out because i don't want it to be too dark and then i use this 24 hour brow setter this is the clear brow setter that's from benefit i love this stuff because i used to use their like colored one but i feel like it gave my eyebrows just made them too dark and it didn't actually set them that much this one i feel like it's so it glues them like it's so good fronts up and then i kind of slowly bring them like that I put this up and then I kind of flow it this way, not up, but like out, kind of like that. So I'm just gonna use this, my bronzer brush. I always go in with bronzer and I put this in my eye crease, just like right there and gives it a little color. Now I'm going to curl the lashes and apply my mascara. This is what transforms the look. Like right now, I just kind of look weird. Eyelash curler, this one I think is from Beauty 360. Any eyelash curler works. For and then I'm using this. This is the Lights Camera Lashes from Tarte. I just started using this and I love it. Like I got a sample with something I bought and I just started using it and it is so good. I looked at this wand and I was like, oh no, this is not that good of a mascara whatever i'm not gonna use it but then i was like hmm let's try it guys it's this perfect wand where it gives you length but it also gives you volume it's crazy it's so good i'm definitely gonna buy the full size of this after i like finish this little sample i definitely recommend it usually i just use like drugstore mascaras if you don't want to buy like a Tarte mascara, some of my favorites are L'Oreal Lash Paradise and also the, is it L'Oreal Telescopic? I think it's L'Oreal. Um, those are like my two favorites. I swear by it, like I still love them. Okay, what I do is I do a coat and then I kind of coat the um, top of them and then I do another coat and then I kind of just keep repeating that until I like how they look. I really focus on this inner part right here. Like that's so important. And then I like my eyelashes kind of flare out so I kind of push them out. Like look at this mascara. It's so good. I love bottom mascara. So I'm gonna apply a thin little coat to the bottom. Like so cute. Okay, and then if I get any on top, I just kind of the other eye off camera and then we'll be back so this is a perfect example of why multiple coats is important this is like multiple coats and then this is one coat like it completely changes everything so make sure you're doing your coats really take your time on your mascara i promise it will be worth it the other eye is done it looks like that um something i've never really loved is lipstick i've tried to love it i've tried to get into it i've tried to buy stuff that people like i just don't necessarily love the way i look with lipstick i do have pretty like pink lips i feel like after i do my makeup i try to like scratch them their color back all the makeup on them uh, but i wanted to show you what i do use if i put on lipstick kind of thing favorite thing i use is this dior lip glow oil i love this stuff it's super light but it gives this really pretty like pinky color like see that i just think it's really pretty this is what i use if i use lipstick i usually don't wear lipstick or any lip stuff i just wear chapstick but that is my makeup that is everything finished i do this pretty much every day some days i don't even wear makeup at all if i could not wear makeup i would but i love the way i look when i wear it i just it's a lot of work so yeah that is the whole makeup done see it's just so clean and like 
pretty. I just love the way this looks. Like it just looks so good. I just love it. So that is all wrong way. That is the whole makeup and that is everything that I've been using recently. I know I changed some stuff up since the last time I did one of these. And let me know if you want to see any other videos from me. I'm trying to make my channel like makeup, fashion, fitness, and just life. Like me just navigating my life. Vlogs and stuff like that. So let me know what your favorite videos are and I will definitely make more of them. I love you guys so much and please subscribe because I want to hit 1,000 subscribers very soon. So yeah, help me out and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!